Hey there, so today we have another review. This is one that I'm really excited for. This is a Belgian style blonde ale uh, for Ohm Gang. And strangely enough, despite their, um, <clears throat> sorry, Best Buy uh, about a year away. So I think, that, yeah, it's a, it's a full year Best Buy. So this was again about three months ago. And um, this is Nome Gang. Ohm Gang, Nome Gang. Uh, fun label, love it. And so it's a Belgian style blonde ale. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Le Chouf. So inspired by Le Chouf. And. So they brought the they they brought the shoof yeast onto this one. Wow, cool. Anyway, this is one of the early ones that I got into when I was um, getting to um, I mean getting to craft beer. Oh, there you go. Fun story. The the first beer that I bought when I turned twenty one, like literally the day of, and I was like, I think I turned twenty one. I had like the day off, so I went to the supermarket and like mm, twenty one, and I bought um, what was it? It was a seven fifty of um, Omegang with the two. It's a red label with the people like cheersing. I believe that's their double, and like I didn't really love it. <laughs> what hell? I was, uh, you know, hey man, I'm gonna buy some craft beer. I, I just turned 21, so literally the first beer I had when I was 21 was uh, Oma Gang, I guess. Um, not Rare Voss, I don't think it's their double. Whatever, whatever it's called. Anyway, I'm getting to Oma Gang. Uh, never was a huge uh, fan of Phenolics and stuff, but Oma Gang really crushed it for me. Um, this was never like a big release. I remember it was on. On draft for sure. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. I have a cold, but look at that. They don't mess around with the carbonation on this guy. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful. So, like, they've carved, they've, they've had to carve this up like Duval. Like, if you guys, um, I mean, if you guys have never cracked a Duval before, be careful. Don't pour it like a regular beer. Like, that beer sits at, like, a normal beer is, like, 2.5 in volumes of CO2. Duval's got to be something like 3, 5, 4, I don't know. Very, very high CO2. Um, I guess it sort of works, like. A lot of the Belgian beers do that, especially the bottle condition ones. But I guess this is can condition or something. Like they burst it. That's one of the tricks, by the way. With a, I, I talk about Hefeweizen sometimes. Uh, Belgian beers. A lot of the Americans that make it, um, they, just, they just don't get a carb right. Like it's so much of the impression of the beer is just like just like like you know like imagine just like drinking champagne if it's just flat, right? Like sparkling wine would. Well, I think part of the reason why like sparkling wine is not tasty champagne is part of the carbonation, the gavage, and. Um, uh, um, um, all, oh, sorry, dosage, dosage is uh, uh, foie gras, um, dosage, and all the crazy stuff they do to like you know bottle ferment it and get it super super high in carbon, like um, really fermented out. So um, really curious. So the beer comes in a really nice kind of medium gold color. Um, slightly off white head, uh, a little bit haze on there. Oh yeah, that's just like straight Belgian phenolics. I mean, and then fruitiness. Um, I get this ripe kind of like pear note. Um, Sweet pears, definitely that little bit of like ethyl acetate, kind of like um, plasticky rubber glove band aid thing. Aromatically like sweet, um, has this little bit like not sweet as something maybe like a like gold monkey or trip, triple, but like a little bit of kind of like just sweet alcohol thing in there as well. Sweet crusty malt, uh, berry malt in there. Um, smells fantastic. This is the, like probably the beer that like impressed me most um, when I had it at um, had um, um, Oma Gang. Early on, and yeah, that's that's crazy good. I mean, this beer is super dangerous. Um, this is right in the line. You know what I should review for you guys? Something like Lashouf. This is inspired by Lashouf, and that is tasty. Man, I should save this to share with a friend. I'm not buying another can. Look at the head; it just won't go away. Beautiful, like uh, Duval. Um, this beer is again. If you're if you're a Duval apologist or um, a Julian Tremens fan, look at this guy. Mm. Up front. Definitely the phenolic, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of that kind of like, um, 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 like you know, Belgian phenolic thing. Um, the fruitiness is pretty restrained, so it's not very sweet. You know, really what this is, is they call Belgian style blonde ale, but nine five, this is really a Belgian golden ale. It really is analogous to Delirium Tremens, Duval, um, where some of the like, um, Lucifer, uh, a Pirate, um, man, some of the beers just haven't had in years. Dries all day, um, a little bit of peppery in the finish, a little bit of hops. A little bit of earthy hop um, bitterness that sort of hits up front, so it's really quite hoppy. It's actually noticeably hoppy, oh, which is quite nice. Stupid, undrinkable, dry. This beer is bone dry. Um, this is what uh, digestible uh, Belgian beer tastes like. <sighs> I really wish they did like their smaller bottles. Like you know, I think they do like the Belgian style bottles that can be like eleven two or something. Sixteen ounce, like you're gonna get messed up, and there's no problem with drinkability on this guy. Like you're just gonna smash this and get destroyed, and um, be careful. Um, just talk about like gold monkey drinkability, get out of here. This is like Duval's the drinkability, like oof. It's definitely a little bit less uh S3. 
than Duval, and definitely a little bit more phenolic. So leaning towards more phenolic on that. But um, man, I mean, if you're a triple apologist, like you're gonna love that. I'm like psh, this beer is fire. Uh, what do I get this guy? Mm. Oh, so drinkable. That is dangerous. A solid 90. Solid 95. Noma Gang from Oma Gang. That is so good. Glad to see this beer back. Hope they... I mean, again, they're, they're making like fruity triples and like... Um, what, they sent me a fruit triple, a like a, a sour kind of blended beer kind of thing. They're doing like hazy IPA with neon rainbows. I'm happy to see them back to their like OGs, like so well constructed. Um, I mean, they're, they're, they're an American brewery trying to do Belgian beer justice. And this tastes straight out of Belgium. Fresh, delicious, highly recommended. 95 Oma Gang and Noma Gang. Cheers.